Yes, he's stamina. Too much hands. Oh, by the shot. By the shot. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm back with another boxing video, man. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video and leave your comments below. Um, I met to do this video when I was in Vegas, but man, the atmosphere um, of the fight, um, they're so busy after the fight. I didn't get a chance to do it until I got home. I'm finally back. Um, what a great fight, man. Um, very entertaining. Very entertaining. Um, Vegas in general is just... <laughs> It's just entertainment. Um, the Ireland fans, man, they crazy. They crazy as hell. They was everywhere in Vegas. I swear, it's like they took over Vegas for the weekend. But to the fight, you know, Mayweather, if you check my prediction video, I said Mayweather, they going to stop it between 8 and 10. And that's how it went, 8 and 10. Um, it pretty much went like I thought it would go. Only difference is Mayweather pretty much gave McGregor the first three rounds. Um, he let him get tired. He didn't really throw any punches within the first three rounds. But as soon as round four hit, that's when Mayweather started going to work. And it was over from then. You know, you, you can see in round three, McGregor was just completely tired. He was exhausted. He couldn't go no more, man. He could not go no more. And at the end of round three, that's when I knew. I'm like, yeah, he going to get stopped. You know, he's going to get stopped. Now, McGregor did land some good shots early. You know, in the first round, he landed that. He kind of grazed Mayweather with that uppercut. Um, he landed some good shots. But like I tell people, um, when you don't throw punches the right way, in the, in the, um, if you don't throw it in the correct form, you're not going to get all the power on the punch. So even though McGregor was landing shots early, he wasn't throwing the punches correctly. He wasn't using correct form to have steam, steam of the punches. Now, you notice when Mayweather hit him with the right hand or any punch Mayweather would hit him with, McGregor, would, he would just bounce back. Like It just seemed like they was all powerful punches because he's not used to getting hit by a boxer that throws correctly. And Mayweather was showing him, like, look, this is how you throw punches, you know. And Mayweather was supposed to have brittle hands, no power or anything, but his punches – you seen it. I mean, it was backing McGregor up. Those right hands, the right hand to the body that I talked about, he used it. The right hand to the body, the right hand upstairs. These are the punches that stopped McGregor. I mean, these are the punches that hurt him. He couldn't do anything. I mean, he was this dude was gas, and I know that he said he wanted to continue, but it was 13 unanswered shots that he didn't respond to. You know, he down there for real, he was going to the ground. He grabbed Mayweather. I mean... I can't really blame the ref. I mean, you got to understand, Conor McGregor, he has another fight that's supposed to happen in December. Now, if you don't stop this fight, you know, we're talking about him getting seriously hurt. Now, I know he's on a medical suspension for two months, and that's something that needs to happen. He doesn't need to be fighting or anything, but he can say all he can say what he want to say about, oh, uh, he should have let him finish and all this and that. Dude, you're going to get hurt. Like, this, this is... You know what I'm saying? This is serious. It's the hurt business. People die in the ring. You don't want to sit in there and keep getting shots, taking shots to the head over and over and over again. You know, you want to make sure both fighters are healthy at the end of the day. But Mayweather did what he had to do. Um, a lot of people not talking anymore. You know, a lot. Of, I mean, these fans was crazy out here in Vegas, man. They was they was crazy. They really believed. A lot of them was really believing that Conor would win. They were saying Mayweather was small. He, you know what I'm saying? He ain't fought nobody bigger. He never fought nobody like this. Man, this stuff I've heard the last 10 years, you know. I've been hearing about this stuff the last 10 years. All these different opponents. It's the same story at the end of the day. But with this fight, we got a guy that has no experience. Um, don't know how to throw punches right. And he gasses. And Mayweather took advantage of it. I mean, it, it's really, as far as business, very smart. It's very, a very smart business move of Mayweather to do that, um, to generate that much money. I know a lot of people said they won't go watch the fight, but this fight did numbers. Everybody that said they didn't weren't going to watch it, they watched this fight. I mean, like I said in my prediction, this probably is the most um, promoted fight I've seen. It was crazy. It was crazy out there in Vegas. But that was just my recap, man. I think Mayweather did what he had to do, dominated. He ended his career with a stoppage. And 
what I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. 50 and 0. And I guess we got to see who the next person to look up to. But right now, I guess we got to get ready for uh, Triple G and Canelo. And that's in about two weeks. So can't wait for that fight either. But let me know what y'all thought of the fight, man. I thought it was a, a good fight for Mayweather and McGregor. They put on an entertainment, uh, entertaining show. <laughs> but I'm going to get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Good drink. Big knots, big knots, good drop. I put a four on the rocks. Drop top, no hot box. Twelve try to put me over. Pink slips to the top.